lecture we had seen while loop now you are familiar with loop technology let us start with for loop for loop is a simple version of loop because as you remember in case of for loop you have three part initialization condition and increment or decrement these three parts are appear in different different line but in case of for loop initialization condition and increment or decrement are combined in a single bracket therefore it is known as a simplified version of loop like a while loop it also works it also start working from initialization then check condition if it is true then there is increment or decrement depending on logic this whole body get executed till the condition is true once the condition is false the body of loop get terminated here is the diagram first initialization is done then there is condition is check if it is false then your program get your, your loop get closed if it is true then execute the body of loop after that continue with increment or decrement again check condition this whole process going on till the condition is true once the condition is false then loop get terminated let us see the program Take a simple example of program to print one to ten numbers. Here you have only declaration part. Only declare the variable i. Then write a loop for i equal to one. It is initialization. Then there is condition less than equal to ten and increment part. Here we only want to print value of i. Print a percent d. Okay, here is the simple program of introduction of for loop. First save it. Here is your output one, two, three till the ten. First i is one, therefore it will print one. Then i is two. I I get incremented there for I is two then three four like this you will look keep printing till the value of I is ten at the last stage the value of I is eleven therefore look get false in case of while loop we have seen programs like factorial multiplication table Armstrong number palindrome number all these program you can write in for loop also for example here we take a program to calculate factorial for factorial we need here one value num fact equal to 1 and one more variable here we take a i equal to 1 okay now as per the logic of factorial i is less than equal to num and then multiply this value we had discussed it 
the logic of this program we had discussed in case of while loop okay now when the loop get false you have your factorial then print it Here we have an input value for number. Therefore, right here, print f. Enter number. Now scan it. Now you are ready to calculate a factorial. If we put 5 then there is factor is 120 because i is 1 num is 5 it first multiply 1 into 1 because factor is also 1 i is 1 that is 1 into 1 now the current value of factor is 1 then i plus plus the value of i is 2 therefore 1 into 2 now the current value of factor is 2 then num again get plus or then i again get plus plus therefore i is 3 the current value of factor is 2 2 into 3 6 like this it will calculate the factorial till the i n number is same okay you in case of for loop there are three sections initialization condition increment or decrement you can also here initialize or increment, give increment to a multiple variable also. How it is? Let us see. Suppose here you have two variable a, x and y. How to initialize these two variable for x is equal to 1, comma, if the y is equal to 10, x is less than equal to 10, x plus plus and there is y minus minus. We don't need here to give the separate condition for y because Whenever the value of x is 10, then y is also get closed. Therefore, you don't need here to give the one more condition. Now simply print here. x is equal to percent a. Now think what will be the output. X is 1, Y is 10, X plus plus Y minus 1 is there for X is 2, Y is 9. Like this you will get the output. X equal to 1, Y equal to 10, X equal to 10, Y is equal to 1. Like this, this loop get executed. That is, you can initialize more than one variable at a time within the for loop.
only remember one thing this section only execute at once and this two section execute at for every call of for loop therefore if you want to do something only at the beginning of the program then include in this section if you want to repeat the same value or if you want to change the value within the program then write that value here because this section is repeat all the times when the for is called multiple times you can do more programs Armstrong number parent rom number prime number in for loop also we have seen this program under the while loop now let us continue one other type of loop that is do while loop in case of do while do for get execute first and then check condition in while therefore at the beginning of the loop if you have a false condition then also at least at one time do get executed okay that is it is exactly opposite the uh, exact exactly opposite to while loop in case of while loop while loop first check condition and it uh, get execute the program but in case of do while it first execute the code and then check the condition it is also known as a post condition check look at the screen first there is entry point then initialization is done then finally check the condition if the condition is true then again the same part we repeat if the condition is false then look at false do while loop is rarely used as compared to while loop and for loop let us see the program Suppose here with as a x is equal to five. Now right here do print one message. X get plus plus and give a condition in while x is less than equal to something for you now it is in this case what happened let us see x is for you then as we know that the first do part get executed therefore do print the hello now the hello of x is 6 here is the condition is false therefore you will get only a single line that is hello okay but if you done this same program in case of while then what happen let us see suppose the value of x is 6 and if we put this program under the while then what will be the output? X is 5. Here what happened? 5 is not less than 6, not equal to 6. Therefore, it, sorry, here we take a value suppose um, 1. Again run it. Phi is not less than 1, not equal to 1. Therefore, it ignore all the part and your program get closed. You don't have your answer. But the same program, if you put under the do while, then do.
print if hello x plus plus while x is less than equal to 1. In this case what happened? As we see Okay, here you should give semicolon to while loop. X is for you. It will first print the hello and then check the condition. Therefore, if your condition is false, then also you will get the output. But in case while loop, it is not possible because there is pre condition check. Here is post condition check. The do while loop is rarely used. Mostly, we use a while loop. If you want to perform the task and then check the condition, in that case you can use a do while loop. For example, suppose here we have two numbers n1 and n2. Suppose n1 is equal to 10, n2 is equal to 5. In do, suppose we want to give some minus to user. One is addition, two is division. Okay, we want to print this to menu first. After that, here ask user. enter your choice and scan this value therefore we need here one more variable for choice ch scan it and ch okay then apply here switch case one is to print addition therefore we can directly print here number one plus number two then there is case two Okay, here you one more case default. Okay, now check here whether the value of CH is less than or equal to 2 only because here you have only two cases 1 and 2 if the ch is 1 then again uh, loop get repeat if the ch is 2 then again loop get repeat if the value of ch is other than 1 and 2 then loop get false suppose 1 is addition there is addition is 15 now if you want to repeat the, you want to see the second also, then there is division. If you put a wrong value 7, then invalid choice and your program get closed. Like this, you can use a do while loop in case of some rare cases. In, in some rare cases, you can use a do while loop. By using do while loop, we can be do create one more program. The program is
प्रोग्राम को प्रिंट फिबोनाची सीरीज अप टू एन स्टेप व्हाट इज द फिबोनाची सीरीज 1 1 2 3 5 8 दैट इज अ 8 एन इज द नंबर व्हिच इज द सम ऑफ प्रीवियस टू नंबर्स 1 1 2 1 2 3 2 3 5 and so on okay here we have have variable f0 which is equal to 0 f1 equal to 1 and f2 because here we have to write formula and for that formula we need this variables first step we take here n and one counter to count the steps first ask user to enter steps okay we don't do while we first uh, before do while we have to first do the heading before beginning processing you have to print here person d slash t the value of f1 now f2 is equal to f0 plus f1 and print here f2 but if the values of f0 and f1 remain the same then you will get only answer the 1 1 and 1 only therefore to go one 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 step ahead one by one step you have to sub these values that is f0 is equal to f1 and within the f1 call the value of f2 and at every step you have to do con uh, increment to counter okay all this process going till the value of counter is less than n okay let us first see the what will uh, what is the output and then we can make a correction so but here we have five steps then 1 2 3 4 5 you will get the right answer if you have a seven steps then here see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 it is a program to print fibonacci series up to n steps okay now in the next lecture we will see how to use 
multiple if or if uh, how to how to use sorry how to use multiple loop that is loop within loop it is also known as a nested loop okay, thank you